Hey everybody, there's been some interest in how I'm doing the riveted mail. First of all, you need to get the supplies from a vendor that sells both closed and open links. These are open links. As you can see, they, they were originally wire that was overlapped and then flattened so that the ends are mashed out a little bit more. Then, if you can see, I don't know if you can see on the picture, there's a little depression in the um, mail there. But since it isn't a hole, what I do is I take my trusty awl, and you can't see my face, but I have on magnifying visor. Give it a couple whaps, and then open it up so that I can use it. So after doing a bunch of those, let me do one more in case you really want to see this part. So what it is, is it's going through, I can't hold it still enough, it's going through the wire. you could see it there so once you have that hole you take four of the closed links which are basically thin washers so these are the closed links and you pick up four of those in one of the open links Okay, then I mash this closed, or almost closed. Then I take, let me see if I can show you some of the rivets, how teeny tiny these wedge rivets are. That's how tiny the wedge rivets are. Okay, and that's why I have my little magnifying glass on. So, I take that and pick up one of these. Where is the camera? Do, 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 do. There's the camera. Pick up one of these. And then, since it's not facing the right way, I turn it around. And usually I put it on another finger to turn it around. And then I drop it into the hole. Usually I'm in a chair, so I'm shaking a little bit. But the chair lets me rest my arms on the arms of the chair. And so, I don't know if you can see that, but inside of there is the wedge. The wedge is in there, but it's not all the way through yet. So you take, there's two sides to the crimping tool. There's one side, oops, I'm going to have to tweak this one a little bit because the wedge is not facing the hole in the mail. Of course it fell out. So it's back in. There's two parts of the crimping tool. One part lets you drive the wedge through the mail. So I don't know if you can see that, but the wedge is now through the mail and it is now one ring. So you can see the wedge side over here and the pointy side over here. So now you take the other part of the tool which is to peen the rivet over and you just squeeze it. Give it a good squeeze and then there you have it. It is done. There's the peen side. Sorry that I'm shaking. And there is the flat side. So there's four and one male. Four and one. Hope that helps. Bye bye.